going on, everybody? Working on our cut. We just hanging out with the pups. Hopefully this is the last day with floppy ears. We're getting the crop tomorrow, hopefully. Where you from? Represent your city, man. Let us know what state you're from, what city you're from. Let's hang out with the pups for a minute. We ain't got nothing else to do. Might well hang out, have a good time. We have a good conversation, all good vibes. We kick all bad seeds out the dirt real quick. So got all good vibes around here. Eli, I appreciate you joining. Appreciate the likes, y'all. Appreciate the likes. Appreciate you tapping that screen. If you tap that screen, it gives us likes. And it brings more people into the room. Please like, subscribe, follow, share. Helps out the channel. We're going to be out here regardless, but it helps out the channel. Man. So I can bring stuff to you. These guys about six weeks old, just about six and a half weeks old. Normally I'd already had the ears crop, but they just so small I wasn't sure. But as you can see, they're plenty healthy. <laughs> Kelly girl in the building, how you doing? The South Kelly girl that is. Hanging out with my new books. The newest litter. Got them a little bit of a play pen so they don't mess up too much. They still messing up. We got them a little play pen. Pups already went to their forever homes. So we left with these boys here. We got three boys and one girl. But we just having fun, hanging out, loving life. We ain't no problem. Got no problem. We got to get some bullies out there to California, man. We got a lot of bullies on the East Coast, but we ain't got none in California. Y'all gotta get some hard cut bullies out there. Golden Road Kennels, we appreciate that, man. <laughs> Look. They're plenty hyper. They never <laughs> they run down. But I like the posture. They got real good posture. Good muscle, good head. Uh, even got some color to them, so I, I'm I'm really glad about this. Keeping the whole litter. We're waiting on the deposit for the black one. I did decide to sell him. Someone made me a good offer, but his deposit should be in tomorrow. That's that's he staying too. Everybody else is staying. Already 
got a little bit of training. She's got some hard hitting. Stuff. Yeah, the one girl, she hold on. Crushing on the males. We're going to keep these, man. I would only consider the, the chocolate and white one. I might consider selling him the one there in the middle. So he'd be 35. If he's 35, the black one's 25. But the other ones we for sure will keep. We're gonna keep this one here. This rally, this little rally. That's cotton candy, that's the only girl. So we're gonna take them back, get a vet visit done tomorrow. We'll get uh get them update, you know, all the stuff. Before I take them to get their ears cropped, I always get every every shot I can, let them kind of get over that, and then uh, start with the ear crops. Cause you give them, man, I give them antibi antibiotics the whole time their ears are healing and everything. What state? We in Oklahoma, man. We got free shipping up to 250 miles. After that, it's on you. So we'll go 250 miles to get the pups to go home. Appreciate the lights, Tony. What state everybody else from, man? Everybody shut the state out, man. I want to know where everybody is. That's what we do. The pups want to know where everybody's at. Y'all tap that screen. Tap that screen for me. Get enough lights to go out there and see the parents. Man. Las Vegas in the building, man. That's what's up. That's out west. That's what's up. West Coast got to represent today, man. We've been we doing good on the East Coast, real good on the East Coast. We even got a, a first litter from a hard cut pup being born in uh, South Carolina. Pup we had out there, Giovanni, he's having some pups, I believe this month, so that's the first of the hard cut pups, you know, having their own pups, on the East Coast anyway, so we're real happy about that, he turned out real good, we had some amazing studs in, in these letters. We produce amazing studs, man. Same part they will cancel you, bro. How many berries you want? Got you, man. I really don't really say it a lot, but they really haven't kicked me off. They have kicked me off for stranger things, though, you know. They have kicked me off for strange things. It was never, it was never for pricing. It was always for something. Just the terminology they didn't understand. They cancel me. And then I appeal it and lose the appeal. But yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I so cute on the cut of <laughs> Well you can come over and back you can come over and puppy sit them if you feel that way. They're running me ragged. They don't ever run out of energy. They this they this way at eleven o'clock at night. <laughs> Watch you. you. Gotta watch him. <laughs> Rowdy. Okay, all of them are 
don't think they lap dogs too. <laughs> Can't wait to get outside and lay on the grass. I won't let them go out on the yard until uh, we have the parvo shot. And we have a DHP shot that we get in seven weeks, six weeks, I guess. But uh, I really do another one in nine weeks before I let them, let them out on the, on the actual grass. He's not gonna let you buy him. He's gonna stay here. He's, he's super spoiled already. He wanna be right next to me all the time. Go over and play. These are companion dogs we breed. It's not working dogs, these are companion dogs. Spoil him if I wasn't gonna keep him. <laughs> That's the only girl right there. You want some more attention? That's all you want. Black one here, 25 berries, and that brown one, chocolate and white one there, 35 berries. Everybody else is definitely staying with me. But this boy here has got great, look at the structure. He the smallest one, and he got great structure. Look how hyper he is. He, he just... Stands out. He always, always wagging his tail. I call him tail wagger. So he definitely win a lot of dog shows. And you already know that. He win a lot of dog shows. But we got the dwarfism gene in there without no muzzle problems, without no bad tail, without no bad back, without no bad feet. I mean, you can't beat that. These would definitely be pocket sized billies. They're about six and a half weeks old right now. <laughs> and another big time lucky litter. Congratulations. Congratulations. Look forward to this in the summertime. I, I try not to do it in the summertime. Because, boy. I guess it's the same. Cause the winter time, you got to keep them warm, but it's just harder to sell in the summer to me. It seems like people got stuff they want to do other stuff. But I'm thinking I might breed again in June. The parents of these pups, I'm thinking of breeding one more time. Cause I need some females. I need I need me three more females. Hey, man, come here. This is headband right here. Come on. That's a little rowdy. He want all the attention, but this is headband. You <laughs> two back there sumo wrestling. We need some puppy sitters around here, man. Oh, yeah. 
card as well. They come from their dad. Well, they, that's not their dad. King Creed. King Creed's dad is their dad. So I guess they're brothers from second letters, I guess. But yeah, all of Bo Jackson's kids and King Creed's kids seem to have those white sleeves, and I love that too. That's a, that's a hard cut trademark, I think. Hard cut bullet trademark. Just about every letter I've had, I've had some of those. I have one female I call a church lady. Them long white sleeves, like the usher the church. Yeah, they are running ragged. <laughs> you see, church lady, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> They can come out of this little pool if they want to. I had them outside and they just, they wouldn't stand up five seconds, they popping out. But this is good for them in here. They get a little bit more room to play and run. But we're gonna go take them to the vet tomorrow. Gonna get another shot, some more shots. The DHPP. Maybe we'll let them go outside a little bit. I take them out to get them sunlight. You know, vitamin E is that's important. So I take them out to do that. Like even when they newborn pups, I will take them out there for ten minutes at a time. You know, just to hold them in the sunlight. Uh, but they don't touch the grass yet. We got three boys in this litter and one girl. This is the girl here running around fighting everybody. And uh, these other three are the boys. This boy here is spoiled boy. Little rowdy, but he's, he's just so spoiled. He's needy. <laughs> you all right now? somebody to touch his head. I'm gonna go get your mama. She'll come here and toughen you up. crazy when they hear my videos and the puppies in the video, they go crazy. It's time for a nap. Y'all ain't ready to go to sleep yet? We appreciate y'all hanging out with We got a lot of new members to the family. We appreciate the new members to the family. Appreciate you tapping that screen. Appreciate the likes. <clears throat> we didn't get any gifts, but we appreciate it anyway. Appreciate everything else. The pups appreciate it. <laughs> They're trying to give you a good show. They're getting their act together. I'm gonna try to keep these together. I I hope I can keep these four together in the house. That's probably a crazy dream, but I that's kind of what I want. They're gonna be the right size. You want this chocolate one? Uh, 
chocolate one is definitely the one that's more like his uh like his grand like his dad. He's definitely gonna be the most solid. But I'm just I like that they all have good structure. And they have different colors. So I'll be able to mix, you know, I'll be able to match them with the perfect females when it comes time to breed. I have a, I have a good variety. But, I, but yeah, that the chocolate and white one is definitely the most, uh, what I like to say is the most bully. <laughs> thank you, thank you. They are definitely plenty energetically healthy puppies. But we're gonna get them checked out again at the vet tomorrow. Get them all up to date. Because they're going to run a long time. We're going to run all that energy out. This time next week. <laughs> I sold a pup one time and it was, I uh, let her go at eight weeks and we didn't get the nine week shot and she died. I gave him another pup, but. I learned from that. I don't. I don't let them. I don't even let them go to another house until I get their cargo shot. I want them to be all up to date when they leave me. When they leave me, they have everything that I can do to make them healthy. They have not that I can do. They have everything out there available to be healthy. Good evening, good evening. Cup said, Cupcake says she wish she could have another. You can always have another puppy. I have 13 dogs. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many you could have. <laughs> you see how they spoil? <laughs> I don't know if they're going to let him on the airplane with me, though. He makes too much noise. Yeah, so I said, she got seven. Yeah, you, you know, you'd be surprised how I beat him. <laughs> I said, I want two dogs. I do not want to have a whole litter that don't sell and all that stuff. I, I want two dogs. I, don't. I never... Once you have the puppies, you won't let them go to bad houses. and You won't let them get in bad situations. You can't times you, you're the best situation for the public. <laughs> I think I'm the best situation for these four. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seven, two puppies. Three weeks and six months. See, I had two litters, but I didn't have a video in the litter. Both of my litters all together was only six puppies. So... We looked out on numbers this year, but we got some good quality. If 
You have my respect. <laughs> Seven three puppies is a lot of work. Seven puppies is a lot of work. Like I said, seven puppies is a lot of work. Man. Yeah, I never had that many. I, I think the most I've had is eight. I normally have six. Fourteen or first, and I had working for him for sure. Yeah, that definitely will take all the time. You can't go nowhere. I understand. I see, like I always got somewhere I need to be out of town when I when the pups get here, but I have to disappoint them. I gotta stay here with the pups. Tell why what you see. He's always so curious. He's so curious. Oh. Definitely going to have to do some training. Can't go nowhere the first two weeks yet. Yeah, at least three weeks. I really, unless you got somebody that can let the mom out during the whelp, and that's my problem, is I don't have that many people that I trust to do that. So it's gotta go about four or five weeks before I can, before I can leave. Free to be me in the building. Appreciate you joining us. Should have their energy, pretty your energy burned out by now. They've been going almost an hour. Yeah, I do it alone. I don't have. I have a couple of customers that I've known my whole life. That they can uh, deal with my dogs. A couple people. But when they whelping, the, the times is so, I don't, nobody can pay attention like I'm paying attention. You got so much time you got to put into it. But after they get to about where they wean, the ones, once they, Eating every six hours or something like that, then I have to go out to go to in. Yeah, we shit the first 200 miles, 250 miles is free. After that, you pay. We're in Oklahoma. Smallest of the little two, you're gonna be mine. It's the only one that I would be, I would consider offer on is the black one and the chocolate one. The other two stand. Starting to wear down. Or they just they might just be taking naps on me and getting back at it. My grand said that perfect. Have a blessed day, Appreciate you stopping by, Sean. Appreciate you hanging out with us. 
Good luck on that letter. Good luck on them 17 you got. Man. Good luck. These four is driving me crazy. The other two went to another, to their homes last week. Got them all situated. Uh, so we, tomorrow we'll get on the final steps of these guys being ready. We'll get the vet checked out and we'll get the uh, ears cropped. Get them on the antibiotics, get them on the new vet. Baby go must be loving it. yeah. These guys do too, they I've been putting just goat's milk with uh, some puppy food in the goat milk. That's all I'm doing. But they loving that. <laughs> Where you located? We in Oklahoma man. A little honey in it. I never thought about that. Oh, shoot, y'all. Oh, shoot. She just gave me one. We're going to put some honey in there tonight. Candy. Candy. That's enough. You don't have to be crazy like that. Be a good girl. <laughs> she the only girl, she gotta let them know. Alright, I ain't gonna say nothing. He shouldn't have came over that body no more. I wanna get him. <laughs> I will do. We'll do. Everybody check that video out later. Yeah. I guess the real reason I go is they do the fecal matter exam. And that's, I'm always curious what they'll find. So I think that's the real, the really the only reason I go is they can do that fecal matter test. And plus I just like to have a, a something that I can show the customers that they went to the vet and got the physical exam and were checked out. So while I'm there, they might as well give me shots. That's, that's how I look at it. And, uh, a lot of times the word medicine I need comes from the vet. So to get all that done, I might as well might as well let them do it. If it's a reasonable price and I got a vet that does it for a pretty reasonable price. <laughs> you can take that to the vet you don't need it for. Well, yeah. Don't go with you right on that too. You got on that too. But we ain't saving that much. We 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 talking about saving maybe twenty dollars. I guess that's I guess that adds up, especially when you start getting in seventeen pups. I understand what you're saying. That's that's I understand what you're saying. Cause me just having four, eight, you know, I don't ever have that many. I spoil. You're right. I know exactly where to get the shots. I could do it all myself. I don't know, I'm still, I'm, I'll take them back up there. I only got four. Yeah, when you have 17, I, I can understand that. That's what I, I had to start thinking about what you're saying. Because you got to cut down the cost of the litter. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a true cost of the litter. And you got to keep that cut down. So I do understand what you're saying. That twenty dollars, twenty five dollars a pup is a lot in a seventeen pup. Right, man, right. And I'm not even looking at that 
amount of pups over the summer, over the, over a season anyway. So you're right. I got I got to look at cutting back on that a little. That would save me some money. I could just take the thick amount of test up there myself. That's the only thing I'm really getting there. That I'm, but I still get the physical exam. And I just get, I like to have some, some paperwork from the vet. But definitely it is not cost effective. And I just found a place that is decent. So yeah, you're right. Now he gets sleepy, you want to fight now. <laughs> she want to be left alone, y'all better leave her alone. I say you better leave her alone, huh, Tim? They better leave you alone. Them boys being mean to you. You got to let them know, don't you? Don't let him know. She gonna, I'm gonna keep her too. She definitely keep her. I need some girls. And plus she's got the white structure and everything I like. So definitely keeping her. Pedigree is... ABKC registered, that's what you mean. They uh, got in line, Dax, majority bloodline, but we're building our own bloodline, and I'm about three generations into it. Generation, that's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Six generations, you can get six lines of that pedigree paperwork. I consider that a good line. So that's why this next generation is important. That's why I gotta keep these boys so I can make sure I got the right one. Yeah, yeah. I got the granddaddy out there. He's still this. The granddaddy is the kid, the the, the father to these pups, actually. So he definitely, he's definitely still producing. <laughs> yeah, I got the granddad, dad, aunties, brothers and sisters. Check on him. He all right. You better stop. Ouch. 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 Watch this. Ouch. 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 We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it slow down. Ouch. What a mess of boy. He get more and more gentle into ouch. So we do it well. I don't say out. There we go. We're gonna give you a little bit of work. We ain't had no time to work with them yet. <coughs> Grandmother, grandson, the great grand, which are ten, all the ten I just created. Yeah. So you do a line breed. That's what I'm doing. Line breathing with some real good stuff. We 
We gotta take some losses, win. We gotta take some wins. We gotta take the wins. These are the wins right here. <laughs> Why you making all that noise? You ain't no need to making all that noise. I guess his feelings hurt now. He's gonna go hard his head. You ain't no need to making all that noise. Granddad, he's the one, boy. I just, he's, man, he's, a deep, he's right to me. I just wanted to make it a little smaller size of him, and that's what I got accomplished up here. Oh, I think they wore out, y'all. I think we warm down. We've been on almost an hour. Nope. 45 minutes. It's about wore out. Except for cotton candy, she got a second win. We'll be out on the grass next week. We can't wait to get out on the grass. We're going to have a couple more shots first. Well, we're going to get them back in the kiln. We're going to have a good nap and get some more to eat. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Hanging out with the pups, checking us out. If you ain't did it by now, you need to come on off the bench for the big win, man. Get you something hard cut. You know? <laughs>